Hello community, last time we pre-trained a bird model and now let's have a look at it in our 3D model. What have we done with the code? We added a layer on top of all the bird layers, a mask language model layer, you see it here in red. This is how we did the pre-training with this particular layer. If you want to see the code implementation, this is from my last video, our code that we used. And the second step was fine-tuning. Here we changed the architecture to a fine-tuning head, for example, for the classification when we fine-tune our model. And here you see the code implementation from our last video. Now, a lot of you ask me, is it available on Hugging Face? Of course, you have everything over there all the different fine tuning for your transformer, the different hat for token classification, question answering, sequence classification, everything is there for you. And it is so easy to fine tune BERT. Now, if you have GPT, it is not easy to fine tune and in any case. You have some massive pre-learned embeddings and this is it. And this is why the pre-training size is so huge with GPT. So, therefore, if you want to update the system in BERT, it is easy. You add a fine-tuning task. But with GPT, it is an absurd cost in the cloud computing. I hope you enjoyed this. We were using Keras NLP. Based on TensorFlow, we have our Keras API and then our NLP toolkit. 